Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Makeup and Madness. My name is Stephanie, and today we're gonna be doing this eye look right here. I found it on Pinterest, and I figured I had to do it. It was a really interesting color combination that I had not seen before. So follow me as I recreate it and show you my face makeup. So if you're ready to see how I recreate this Pinterest look, then keep watching. So as you can see, one eye done, one eye not, and that's the one I'm gonna film. But I'm gonna try to recreate this look right here with the blue and the plummy purple down at the bottom and with lashes it doesn't look like she has any eyeliner on so we're just gonna get right into it so the first thing I want to do is take the Tarte shape tape and light neutral and we're going to dot dot two dots on the eyelid real techniques Concealer sponge damp. I'm just going to blend that into the eyeball. Once it's blended, I'm going to take a Real Techniques setting brush. Use the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to add that all over the eye. And then, because that's a real smoky blue, I'm going to use um, a shadow shield. I don't like to use them when I already have face makeup on because I feel like they're so sticky. When you take it off, it's going to take all your makeup off. All right, there. Now it's gonna catch all that shadow. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Bold Metals 203 brush, and I'm using the Beige Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil, and I'm going to use that shade here. Swirl my brush in it, tap it off, and then I'm going to put that in the crease area. So from here to here. Because I have hooded eyes, when I look straight, you can see all this crease area disappears. So this is a lot of blending, a lot of layering. I hope you're prepared. Dun, dun, now blend, and blend. One, two, three, and blend, and blend. Come on, ladies, blend like you've never blended before. Blend and blend. Okay, it's enough of that joke. Now, because I want this line to be really blended here, I'm going to take a Real Techniques, and I'm going to take the white shade, and that Take Me to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette. I'm just gonna do one swipe, tap it off, and then go up there and kind of blend. Blend that line out. Back in with the Real Techniques 203, that first blue shade we went into, you guessed it, and blend. Now the great thing about this shadow shield is when I take it off, there's going to be a line that could cut you, cut you deep, which is how you want it. <laughs> and then that means you can be messy, which I am. I'm just gonna keep on blending between the Real Techniques 203 with the blue shade and the Real Techniques film shadow brush with that light shade until I like the way it's blended. Once I like the way it's blended, I'm then going to take a Morphe 433 and I'm going to use this Beach Cosmetics darker shade right there. Tap off the excess and I'm just going to concentrate it right here. I want to deepen up that crease. That's what we're doing here. Lay down more color. I'm gonna go back in with the Real Techniques 203, that lighter blue shade right here, and then blend that darker blue out. And you can see I'm creating a more definite line between the blue and that light, so you guessed it. Going in with the Real Techniques Dome Brush, that white shade, and I'm going to blend that out again. It's all about blending, folks. Blend, blend, blend to your heart's content. Back in with that darker shade. This look takes commitment. Lighter blue shade, that white shade. I don't feel like this dark blue is dark enough, so instead of just swiping it, I'm gonna pat it on the lower third of my mobile lid and in that crease area, trying to get it to match. It's typically why I do both eyes at the same time, because matching is not something I excel at. You can ask my husband when it comes to his socks. Blend, blend, blend. I think I may be happy. I don't know. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that light shade. And I'm going to take Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. And I'm gonna take a Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm going to put that on my inner lid and in the center. make a straight line here, Stephanie. I don't know if you can. 
think this color tattoo stuff is a little bit old. So I'm having a hard time laying it down. So then once I do that, I have this powdered eyeshadow. It was a gift for Christmas. It says loose eyeshadow number two, made in China. Oh, distributed by Jasmine LaBelle Beverly Hills, California. Here, let me show you. And I'm gonna take an e.l.f. brush. I think it's a flat shader brush. It has no name on it. And I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna pat it over where I put that L'Oreal color tattoo. I just want to put that and blend that into the blue. Bring it down into my inner corner. Now, because I don't want this to stay this way, that those harsh lines, I'm going to go back with the Morphe 433, take that dark color in the Take Me to Brazil Beach Cosmetics palette, and I'm just going to pat across that line. And you see how it blends out that edge there? The shimmer fades into the blue. That's what I want. And then I'm gonna take the Real Techniques Bold Metals 203, take that lighter blue shade. You guessed it, you're so quick. Above that darker blue and just blend. Just when you thought you've done all the blending. Nope, <laughs> just kidding. So whenever you're doing an eyeshadow like this and you think, oh, that's good, I've blended, you should go ahead and blend for six more minutes. And that should cover it. <laughs> and then back with that white shadow over the top of that. I'm gonna go back with that L shader and a little bit more of that shimmer shadow. Gotta get it to match. That will be a running theme in my videos. It's gotta match. Okay, it looks like there's a little more blue here than here. So let's see if we can take care of that. A little bit more white. I kind of wiped off the brush and now I'm just gonna blend that out. All right, match, matchy, matchy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shadow shield off. Watch, you ready? Look at that, look how messy, look at that, watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys always thought that they had such steady hands, precise line drawing. <laughs> Just kidding. Shadow shoots the secret. Look how sharp that line is. It will cut you in half. All right, so now we want to do this bright, it looks bright pink, but it's really like a purplish color. Um, and I'm going to take a Morphe M432. And I'm going to go into, it's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take that shade right there. Draw right on my lower lash line. I want to do it from here, the tear duct back. Not all the way to the inner corner, just the tear duct. You can see the difference. This is just a straight line and this is kind of blown out and down. So to do that, I'm going to take a MAC pencil brush. It's a 219 and I'm going to take a mixture of colors to kind of blow this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take a mixture of this color, this color, and this color. Tap off the excess and I'm going to blend this out back and forth, back and forth. Now she's got some of it on the water line so I'm just going to put I'm just swiping. Now she's not wearing any eyeliner, so I'm just gonna go straight into lashes. And I am going to use the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black just to coat my lashes. And I don't wanna put a lot on because I don't want them to get in the way of the lashes. By Eyelore, Vegas Nay, and Grand Glamour. These things are serious business. Look at these things. So I have to cut them down because my eyes are not ginormous. So to do that, all you do is take the lash, once you take it off, just stick it on your eye and then measure. Measure how much you have to cut off, so. Cut about that much off. And then I'm gonna take House of Lashes Lash Glue, which is a really good lash glue. I really like it. And I'm going to paint the glue on the lash. And you gotta let it dry for about 30 seconds. I'm just gonna shake that lash. Shake it dry, shake it dry, shake, shake, shake it dry. I'm sorry, I just sang it, yeah. Makeup Academy that I got. It's this lash tool there. And I'm just gonna make this day. I'm just gonna shove that in the corner. Oh! <sighs> Lash is working against me. It took me five minutes to put the other one on, honestly. <sighs> okay. Jesus, take the lash! Take the lash! I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil and M14. And I'm just going to tie it on. That kind of covers up the band too. So now what we're gonna do is prime the face. And I'm gonna take the L Horless Face Primer. 
pores. Take one pump of that. Where I have the biggest pores, this stuff smells a little medicinal. Feels really slippery. Let's pat that in. Press into the pores. And then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Shell Ivory. Dot, 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 dot. Face demon. Face demons all over the place. You guys do not get to be seen. Well, you guys already saw it, but you know. Nose. And I do want to take it down the neck. It's important when you have foundation, you want to match it to your neck so you don't have that mask line. Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And we are just going to pat that in. It is damp. I feel like this might make me a tad whiter than I am, if that's even possible. So you can see that this foundation doesn't really cover too much, but I can tap that there, or I can just use concealer. But I just want to show you, if you tap lightly, so you can see it definitely covered it up better and I just tapped it. This foundation is buildable. I'm gonna go over the year, ears. Now I'm fine if I, if I take my time blending this out, I won't be cakey and it won't settle into my fine lines on my forehead. So I really just wanna make sure that happens. And I'm blending it down my neck. Now I wanna take my concealer and I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Bare Neutral. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. We're brightening it up. And I only dipped in once, you guys. I mean, this is just pulling it out of the tube. But you can see a little goes a long way. I am putting this light concealer over the high points of my face because it acts as a highlight. So typically anything that you want to pull forward and you want the light to hit, you want to put a highlight on. Anything you want shadowed, you want to make look smaller, you put shadow on. The whole concept of highlighting and contouring. Go in with that smaller sponge and just blend that out. Blend out that edge there on my cheek. So now, of course, I wanna set all that. So I wanna take the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just tapping that. And the reason why I'm tapping that, I don't wanna swipe off the concealer I just laid down. And then once you've covered it, then you can kinda of swipe because you're just swiping powder. I wanna tap around the edges of my nose. I'm going to set everywhere I put that concealer because I don't want it to budge. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I'm gonna take a Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush and then just swirl that around my face. And then I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. Makes me want a dessert. I'm gonna take a Morphe B78 and go into that dark shade there. I just want to warm up my face. So now we're going to do blush and I'm going to take the NYX blush in Chaotic and I'm going to take a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to pat that in there, swirl it, pat it, tap it. Let's blush out those cheeks, girls. You do your makeup the way you want. There's no wrong way to do it. It is an artistic expression. I can't draw, I can't paint, but I can paint my face. Now we wanna highlight. And I'm gonna take the Bomb Cosmetics in Mary Luminizer on a Real Techniques fan brush. And we're just gonna put it on the high points of the face. Oh, look at, oh, so pretty. <laughs> that highlight. I'm gonna put that above my eyebrow, right down the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. All right, so face makeup's done. We're now gonna go to the eyebrows. And I'm just gonna do those off camera because <laughs> 
It takes too long. Brows are done. All right, so I wanna take um, my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara again, and I'm just going to put that on my natural lashes and a little bit on the falsies to blend them. And then I wanna take that again, and we're gonna do lower. Last but not least, some lipstick. I'm gonna use the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 04 All Natural. I'm gonna take the Milani lipstick in number 61. Bad name. So this is the finished look. Let's look at that picture again and compare. And let's grade me, see how we did. How'd I do? Let me know. Again, if you find any Pinterest makeup looks that you would like me to recreate, leave a link or a picture down in the comments below. Thank you guys for hanging out with me again. I'm really enjoying doing this and challenging myself to recreate these looks on Pinterest. So thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.